hello everyone this is anuj from chemical engineering processes and guys today we have a very important topic to discuss that is concerned with the non idealities of reactors so when it comes to the non ideal reactors not only the value of the residence time distribution rtds matter but also the type of fluid that we are dealing with okay uh, whether it is a macro fluid or micro fluid the type of mixing whether it is the earliest possible or the latest possible or both these things uh, will have to play their important roles so today we are going to discuss that only okay the degree of segregation how they affect uh, the conversions the uh, overall conversion for a reactor operation and the mixing patterns right if they are mixing early okay or if they are mixing lately right so we are going to discuss that only today so as i already told you just defining the type of fluid okay will not uh, uh, give you the actual value or we should say the correct value of conversion okay so we should have to define the mixing, mixing patterns also so here you can see here you can see the scales of the degree of segregation right these are the degree of segregation scales for the micro mixing right so uh, once on the one side on one side we can see that we have the segregated flow okay uh, where we have the latest mixing and on the other extent we have the maximum mixedness mixedness model uh, which is the early mixing right and the micro fluids light lies on this side right so guys it will depend on the type of mixing we will have okay so we cannot have uh, the this on we cannot be on this in the real for the real reactors we cannot be on any one of the extent and we will be on any of these intermediate scales okay we will have these intermediate values of micro mixing right now when it comes to micro fluids in pfr that is the plug flow reactor right so we have two extents a plug flow reactor and the mixed flow reactor so even the if the micro fluid uh, or the macro fluid or, or any of the fluid will go to a plug flow reactor that will give you a same conversion right because we know that for a pfr in a pfr we have uh, n number of small batch reactors right and for the batch reactors whether it is a micro fluid or macro fluid they will spend the exact same time inside the reactor and they they will have the same conversion right so for the micro fluid even for the micro fluids in a pfr we will have on this side right that is the segregated flow now when it comes to macro mixing right so we have two extents that you can see here first one is towards the mixed flow reactors and the other one is the pfr so this lower end resonates with the left hand side of the previous discussion previous slide that we shown right and intermediate we have some in in the mix in the uh, intermediate values we have some rtds right residence time distribution that have to be taken under consideration right so now let's uh, understand about the earliness and lateness of mixing for the micro fluids okay the micro fluids that we are taking here so here we have taken an example of our order of reaction greater than 1 and two cases we have considered first one is the pfr in series with the mfr and the second case is all, all the opposite one that is the mfr in series with a plug flow reactor right so in the for the first case if i should say for the first case since we have a pfr uh, on the start and mfr on the second on the second half part right the in this when when uh, the reactant enters this system this first system the reactant starts at a very high concentration obviously and it will react away rapidly right it will react away rapidly because we have the order of reaction as to be 2 okay and the reaction rate is directly proportional to uh, the concentration the initial concentration right so it will react away rapidly but guys if you see the case number 2 okay we have the case number 2 and because of the mfr on the first part okay, on the first half part there will be an immediate drop in the concentration okay which you will observe that's why that's why for the case number 2 you will end up with a low conversion right so this mixing patterns is really very important when it comes to the type of fluid as well right so now let's consider the macro fluids right so in the macro fluids as i already told you we have a small batch 
batch reactors right which we generally call as the little packets or clumps that will spend uh, varying lengths of time inside the reactor that's why because they have varying lengths of time they will have an rtd hence the rtd function okay so each clump will be acting as a batch reactor so hence there will be a mean composition right and because we have a mean composition there you can see the mean composition that is coming at the exit okay and that i have calculated using this okay because we have different batches and we have to calculate the mean value of composition so it will be the integration okay i have to take all the batches and integrate the average exit uh, composition right that will give me the mean composition multiplied by the residence time distribution function because they have varying lengths of time that they are spending inside the reactor right and multiplied by dd because we have an integration right so this will give me the mean composition at the exit okay we can write it in terms of conversion as well mean conversion basically so it will include the uh, uh, conversion of each of the element okay the element i am i am just uh, referring here uh, as the different batches right different batch reactors now let's take an example of the reaction order to be one for the reaction order to be one we have this element okay so this element simply is is uh, the uh, concentration ratio for one batch reactor okay when we have taken the order of reaction as one and we know that it is exponential of minus kt right and for the n equal to two okay this will this is these all things uh, you know from the kinetics okay the basic kinetics of the chemical reactions right now guys for the nth order this element is taken off to be this value right so you should remember this value and you will have uh, you will you can tackle all the reaction orders for finding out the value of this element okay so because we have if we have to find out if we have to find out the average value we you know uh, this value this value of the each element right and the rtd okay so both these informations are really very important so guys now let's consider the macro mixing and micro mixing in different ideal reactors so i have here written the three reactors three famous reactor as all you should know okay the batch reactor the plug flow reactor and the mixed flow reactor so guys uh, when it comes to batch reactor okay you have we have taken a simple batch reactor it is filled with a macro fluid okay suppose it is filled with a macro fluid containing the reactant a any reactant a since uh, each aggregate or packet of macro fluid act as its own little batch reactor okay that we already have discussed the conversion is the, in this case will be same for all the aggregates because they are spending the same amount of time inside the reactor and uh, in fact we should say that it will be identical with what would you obtain from the micro fluids okay so i think uh, you have got my point here so the degree of segregation here does not uh, have any effect okay so degree of segregation will not affect the conversion not even the conversion or the product distribution now let's come to the second type of reactor that is the plug flow reactor so since the plug flow can be visualized as a flow of small batch reactors as i have told you in the beginning of this video right that's because we have like small plugs okay plug in the radial uh, direction so there will be the uh, mixing okay and they all will act as small batch reactors passing in succession through the vessel so here also the if the fluid is a macro or micro that will be the effect will be alike okay there will be no distinct uh, uh, there will be no difference actually okay so the the degree of segregation also does not influence in the case of the plug flow reactor but guys when it comes to the mixed flow reactors you can see here i have taken both the cases we have taken the macro fluids uh, denoted by the large balls and the uh, micro fluids denoted by the small balls so here we shall see both the cases right the mixed flow reactor with the micro fluids and mixed flow reactor with the macro fluids so let's jump on to the mixed flow reactor for the micro fluids guys so here what is happening when the micro fluids enter the mixed flow reactor the reactant concentration everywhere will drop to a low value that already was prevailing inside the reactor 
and no clump of molecule retains in uh, retains its uh, its uh, initial concentration right and here we may characterize this by saying that each molecule loses its identity guys so you should remember this each molecule is losing its identity and has no determinable past history right for the case of microfluids in mfr guys in other words we can also say that by examining the different neighbors of each of the molecule we cannot tell whether a molecule is a newcomer or it is it is an older one right uh, which is there inside the reactor so i think i think here in this case uh, since we are not able to uh, uh, we cannot like distinguish okay and all the neighbors are exactly same so here the conversion will be the same as we uh, determine for the ideal mixed flow reactor right and the concentration ratio will be the same also right so this was the mixed flow reactor with microfluid now let's jump on to mixed flow reactor with the macrofluids guys so here you can see the macro fluids the large clump of molecules right so uh, when the macro fluid enters the mixed flow reactor the reactant concentration in all the aggregate we have different aggregates that you can see and the concentration will not be the same okay and will it will drop immediately because it's a mixed flow reactor but uh, the drops will not be the same right uh, this decrease will not be the same because we have different batches okay we have different batches and guys it's a continuous reactor you should remember this right uh, so we have to find out the average right so we have to take all the batches and we have to integrate from zero to infinite uh, multiplied by the residence time distribution right so we should know these two information these two information are very important uh, other than the mixing patterns right so uh, first thing is uh, we, we should know about the RTD second thing is about the different batches okay we should know the uh, concentration ratio of the batches and the third important thing is the uh, type of uh, the fluid and the mixing patterns okay so both these things are really important and here this expression already you know we have calculated it previously right now if i take the uh, uh, rtd function for the mfr you should know it is 1 by tau exponential of minus t by tau and when you just replace this exponential term this uh, uh, rtd function in the above expression you will get this value right so this is the value that we have got uh, and you should remember this this is a general expression you can just uh, substitute any value of the concentration ratio concerning any order of reaction and you will get the average conversion or the concentration ratio mean conver mean concentration ratio right so let's suppose we have taken an example of the zeroth order of reaction right and you can see here for the zeroth order of reaction the concentration ratio is we already know that okay this we already know for a single batch and when you just substitute it here and just integrate integrate for simplifications here you will get this final expression so this is what this is the simple mean conversion okay this is the mean conversion or the mean concentration ratio for the mfr okay in what in the uh, for the uh, for the zeroth order reaction guys so i hope till now we have explained uh, quite easily that all these three four factors are really important in determining the correct value of conversion for the non-ideal reactors so guys if you have liked this uh, video please please support us please support us by subscribing to our channel that is uh, chemical engineering processes uh, and concepts right so this is very important guys please subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any update guys okay so we will meet you in the next uh, video with a new topic right that is concerning with the amazing concepts of chemical engineering till then goodbye